Seventh Memphis police officer fired. Now this comes almost to a year after five former Memphis police officers were fired and charged with the murder of Tyree Nichols. A sixth officer, Preston Hemphill, was also fired but is not facing mm -hmm. criminal charges. Fox 13's Kayla Solomon is joining us live downtown. Kayla, you looked at those decertification documents. What was the first thing that really stood out to you? Well, Darcy, for one, we know the name of that seventh officer. You see it right there. Adrian Blake's in large letters at the top of this form. You can also see that signature at the bottom from Chief C.J. Davis. It's marked on March 3rd. But on the second page is when we find out the actual termination date. It says right there it was February 23rd of this year. Now, we did reach out to Memphis police to try to get a photo of him, and we did not get a response. So in an effort to try to figure out who he was we tried calling him this is what happened who is adrian blakes according to documents from the state he joined the memphis police department in the summer of 2019 a decertification request filed through the peace officer standards and training or post commission shows blakes was terminated on february 23rd of 2023 five officers demetrius haley emmett martin iii desmond mills jr justin smith and tadarius bean were fired and charged with the murder of tyree nichols in late january also in late January, Preston Hemphill was relieved of duty and fired, but not charged. These documents do not specifically mention Tyree Nichols, but they do say that Blakes was calling to assist in a foot chase on January 7th, and the man involved in the chase died on January 10th. These dates line up with the Nichols timeline. According to documents obtained by Fox 13, Blakes got to the scene with his body camera on and saw officers trying to detain a man and saw two officers kicking the man while he was on the ground. The narrative goes on to say Blakes didn't intervene and also did not report what happened to a supervisor. Blakes also denied being a witness in an interview with MPD's Inspectional Services Bureau. Now, we did reach out to Memphis police to try to get a comment or update on this, and they told us they do not comment on any active litigation. But again, we're going to keep trying to dig and find out more about who Adrian Blakes is. Coming up at 10, we'll break down that timeline of everything that's happened from January 7th till now in terms of the seven former officers who have been fired. Daryl. And it's Fox 13's Kayla Solomon. Kayla, thank you for the update, and we will see you at 10. Meanwhile, five other Former Memphis police officers charged in the death of Tyree Nichols were in court yesterday. Now, we learned that some of the defense attorneys faced an issue with some of the discovery that was turned over to them by the Shelby County District Attorney's Office. The issue was with videos. Not specifically. We don't know specifically what the problem was, but the next report date is February 2nd. Trial date is still set for August 12th. The five former Memphis police officers were also scheduled in federal court yesterday. Tadarius Bean, Demetrius Haley, Emmett Martin, Desmond Mills, and Justin Smith were all scheduled to appear. The federal court hearing centered in on evidence released in the case. Now, last month, Desmond Mills Jr. pleaded guilty to federal charges, but his plea is still not guilty on state charges. 